So for this, take the addition of Grignard's to carboxylic acid derivatives, esters and acid chlorides. So the first thing we'll need is a react reactant, right? We'll need a Grignard's reagent, which is an alkali halide with magnesium. So this is the alkali halide with bromine, right? And it can be iodine too. And then when you attach a magnesium to it, what happens is this becomes a nucleophile. And what do nucleophiles do? They attack electrophiles. So this will attack right here, right? It'll attack this carbon, double bonded to an oxygen. And remember that carbons can't have four bonds. So when it attacks it, this double bond will become a single bond. And this bond will become a lone pair right here. And notice at this point, right, it has a negative charge. But what it can do is this negative charge can come back down, form a double bond, and kick out this chlorine because the electrons will go to the chlorine and chlorine will leave. Therefore, create this structure, which is the same, right? Because one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five carbons. Same structure with your oxygen. So now you can attack it again with another alkali halide with magnesium. Um, ether just stabilizes the entire um, solution uh, and compounds, and then you have your acid. So this can come by, attack this carbon double bonded to an oxygen. So the double bond goes up, becomes a lone pair. And then notice how this one, right? So remember to always count your carbons. So here you have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons, right? So our new structure should also have eight carbons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight carbons. So it matches. Now, when we have this, we add acid. What the acid does is it donates a hydrogen to the oxygen, and since there's no good leaving group, the negative charge can't come back down and make anything leave, because carbon's not a good leaving group. So therefore, it forms a um, alcohol. And this is just, um, this part just went over here, and it, everything's the same, because since everything's a single bond, everything can rotate, so this is the same thing as this except for the hydrogen addition, which uh, makes it a alcohol. The next thing is, that was acid chloride. This will be um, an ester. So an ester is right here. It's oxygen with two carbon groups. So once again, you'll have your alkali halide with magnesium. Attack this carbon that's double bonded to an oxygen. The double bond, right, one of the double bonds will become a lone pair, making this negative then this negative charge can come back down, form a double bond, and kick off the ester after it's been protonated by a um, hydrogen, right? So after the hydrogen, it forms a plus charge. This will, um, it'll come back down, form a double bond. These electrons will come onto the oxygen, and then therefore the oxygen will now have one, two, three, four lone pairs. And then um, that makes a good leaving group, so it'll leave. And then finally, we'll have this structure. And notice how this structure is similar to this structure. So, um, so if you have an ester, that's this is the entire mechanism. Um, it just attacks, the double bond goes up, it comes back down, and after it's been pronated, and then this entire part leaves and you form this structure. So I hope that helped, and uh, thanks for watching.